What's up, YouTube? I'm on the rooftop of the parking lot down here in Stockton, California, downtown. And I'm here to show you a video on my Mustang GT. So that is my Mustang GT CS right there. A lot of people don't recognize the GT CS or what it stands for. Basically, it's just a California special. It has a like limited edition leather seats, carbon, fi carbon fiber. And it looks nice. I took off the front license plate. That's why it has like two drilled holes in the front. But it's nice. And if you're wondering if it's stock, no, it's not stock. It looks nice though. All right, so we're gonna begin with, let's try out the wheels first. These wheels are AOMRs from American Muscle. They cost me 170 for the front and 180 for the back. They are 20 inch rims by 10 in the back and 20 by nine in front. And if you're wondering, in the back, I'm running 315 tires. At first, I thought it was gonna be cool, but check this out. It started to rub. You see, like right here. You see, it started to tear off the paint. Cause on my way on the freeway, when I'm riding, sometimes I hit bumps and it hits my my tire just hits the top, and you can see the rubber. It rubs off on, which is a fucking disaster. But other than that, it's pretty nice. My front tail lights. I mean, headlights are tinted. Windows 35%. Rear uh, side window lovers came with the California Special car. The back thick lid, thick pad, or whatever you like to call it, comes like that. California Special, as you can see. California Special. Now, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the engine. There it is, the 5.0 engine. One thing I need to get is, I need to get rid of this first, get the hydraulic ones, so I could just open up my hood, so when I go to car meets, it'll look way, a whole lot nicer. What the fucking stick bothers me. But here's the engine. So it comes with the, the strut bar. You see how right there it says Mustang GTCS? Oh, it just says GT. And then there's a 5.0 engine. And as you can see, I do have an intake, which is a JLT intake. And this one requires a tune. So I have two mods in one. That's pretty much it on the intake and engine bay. Now, let's try out the exhaust. The exhaust, I have axle backs, which are pipe bombs. There are pipe bombs and there are no mufflers. It's a muffler delete. But they do have little resonator tips inside the little axle back, which is, I don't know why, but supposedly to keep the little pops from happening, but, you know, other way, anyway, you still get the little cracks. And it's kind of fucked up right here, because when I first installed it myself, it was rubbing on this side, so with the heat and the pipe and the plastic and all that, it just kind of got messed up. But, you know, right now this one's fixed. This one looks good. I'm proud with this one, but the other one, you see, this one is getting close to the side you see my fingers barely fit in there but yeah that's that's what happened i need to fix this one but yeah i got those pipe bombs i got a resonator delete and i got a jba off-road x-pipe and man it is loud check this out you're gonna ask if it's a if it's a manual and sadly it's not a manual it is an automatic 
but hear me out hear me out i was i was 18 when i got the car i was i didn't know anything about cars i didn't know about ma automatics manuals all that stuff so at the time when i bought my first car i bought a v6 charger uh, eventually i came across a uh, the point where I've seen a lot of cars, I've been going to car meetings, and I'm like, I want myself a V8 car. I want to have the car that sounds mean, that looks aggressive, that's pretty fast. Yeah, so then I seen this Mustang, and I was like, holy crap, that Mustang was really cool. It came with the stonk wheels, the GTCS wheels, which is a good wheel, the white color, the GTCS on the side, and I was like, holy shit, I always wanted a Mustang. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I take it out. So I test drove it. It was sweet, it was fun. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it. So I traded off my charger for this Mustang and now I had it for almost a year now. You start to realize that, oh crap, you know, all these muscle cars, all these enthusiasts, they love, they love manuals. And I'm like, damn it. I should have waited, I should have learned. But I'm like, damn it, you know, it's a rookie mistake when you first buy a car, so be patient. But other than that, I love my car. It's gonna, it takes me places, it's fun. I like to go to car meets. It's a good looking car for me outside. And other than that, it's pretty cool, but you know, you, you do get a lot of hate for having an automatic, but I was a rookie when I first got this car. I didn't know nothing about cars, but trust me, I will buy a manual car. You know, I live in Stockton, California, and it's in between Sacramento and San Francisco. So, man, it is so fucking hot, but yeah, stay tuned.